Dear friends, wherever you are, I welcome you to Biafra News today. As it is, hap it is happening, I believe one thing that truth will always prevail. No matter how long lies may stay or may have stayed, the truth shall cert certainly prevail over lie. So what I'm telling you this moment is the people who have decided that their friends will not rest. I'm presenting them to you. You see the number one en enemy of Biafra freedom is Ohaneze Ndibo and Igbo politicians. Because of what they will get and put into their pocket with their families and eat and drink. So every other Biafran is not necessary as long as they are consigned. You see them here. Abaribe before was interested maybe because why I say maybe is because the characters not a charisma characters he is displaying or he has been displaying all this while against Biafran freedom fighters and against Simon Epa and Mazenam de Kano is showing that he doesn't have anything to do with Biafra freedom fight fighting that he is against Biafra freedom fighting and he is against Biafra freedom freedom fighters so what I'm saying this moment I want you to look into it crit critically and come up with what you think that should be the solution so this moment you can see his up and down he joined ohaneze and he joined the nigeria politicians and nigeria military terrorists they are now working together hand in hand with any near baribe which he supposed to be one of the most respectful um Igbo man in the nigeria animal law making kingdom but he changed the whole tone of the music so what i'm telling you now is that ajon no nebe ajon no no nebe manonye chi ekwere onwu ko nebe bu ihe ino na elu ewu ejala maka na ejala we si ije what i'm telling you this moment should be important to you that anybody or group of people who are against Mazenam de Kano and Simon Epa and the movement for the actualization of Biafra freedom is against the entire Biafra people. And you know the population of Biafrans. And I don't think this set of people within Nigeria can be able to stand before Biafrans. I'm telling you the truth. So now, these people have planned severally in different ways. You cannot say you don't know what I'm saying, and you cannot say it is lie. 
that Ohaneze and Igbo politicians joined together and pledged bounty on Simon Eba to extradite him, either life or dead. But this is our son. Simon Eba is our son. Mazenam de Kano is our son. And they said they are Igbo people. So, now, how do you call this person or these people an Igbo people? Because you can see the manifestation of their dastard acts or characters towards their own, their own, who want to save everybody. So, to pledge bounty on innocent ones, is it the best? This is what they did to Mazen Amdekano. The same Ohaneze you are seeing, Ohaneze and Dibo today, and Igbo politicians, all of them joined Nigeria to pledge bounty to monitor Mazen Amdekano and to kidnap him from Kenya. Go and find out. You will see that what I'm saying is the truth. And then the same Ohaneze come from behind and said they are telling Nigeria government to release Mazi Namdekano. The same this on Haneze. The same this Igbo politicians. They will pretend and go around and say uh, they, uh, they, you know, the matter is, is somehow matter. Uh, that they are doing their best. Uh, Tinibu, they have been talking to him and they talk to Abbasanjo to talk to Tinibu to release him as in the can. At the end of the day, nothing comes out of it. Because what they go there to discuss with the Tinibu and Abbasanjo is to make sure that Mazinam the Kano is not released. Because Mazinam the Kano is their problem. Mazinam the Kano coming out of the DSS custody will it be a breakthrough. To be a friends who have been laboring in vain because the Ohanezendi and Igbo politicians are witches and wizards who have prevented the younger ones from seeing the light of the day. I'm telling you that by removing Ohanez and Igbo and the Igbo politicians, the real Igbo people, Igbo youths, you will see how they will grow fat. You will see how they will make money. They will become rich. But these people have connived with Nigeria to impoverish and frustrate the future of Igbo youths in Nigeria. I'm telling you the truth. Ohanez and Igbo are not speaking on the behalf of their friends. For your information, Igbo politicians are not supporting be our friends to be free from colonization and entanglement of life by Nigeria government. But very soon it will be ended. I want to tell you quickly before I wrap up that Ohanez and Dibo and Igbo politicians have done a lot of evil to be our friends because. They were expected, I'm telling you the truth, that when they get up and speak, Nigeria will shake. And Nigeria must bow to whatever Biafra says. But now, today, they are the ones fighting against the Biafras. Now they are shouting, making noise all over the place. You know, because they have exhausted every means to kill Simon Eba or to extradite him by force. He didn't work. They are now frustration. They are now frustrated. Out of their, their frustration, they are now saying that Simon Eba boys want to kill Ohanez Ndibo. 